Welcome back to Main Street Living. Danielle, Quincy, if you have experienced sticker shock at the grocery store lately, you are not alone. Inflation is making everything more expensive, but it seems like food prices have really soared. Yeah. And that's that's tough on everyone because food, unfortunately, one of those things you have to buy. Uh, Rachel West is here with some tips for how we can keep that grocery bill in check. Please welcome to Main Street Living. Rachel, Rachel, thanks so much for making the time for us. Well, thanks for having me. Good to see you. So let's dive right into it. What is one of the easiest ways that we can save some money on groceries? Yeah, so one of the biggest and easiest probably is limiting ready prepared foods. So things like the pre -pre the prepared salads and meals in the deli section or pre-seasoned meats, things like that. But there are some good substitutes that you can make. So instead of pre-cut produce that you find in the um, produce section, one of my favorites is just going to the freezer aisle instead. You don't lose out on any of the convenience of it because all of these are prepped and ready to go right in the pan or right in your microwave to steam. And you get a variety of vegetables in, in these like pre-mixed packages. So you don't have to prep all those ingredients or pay for all that extra convenience. Um, another one of my favorites is, um, so things like boiling bag rice. These are super convenient. You don't have to measure anything. You just throw it in the pan, but instead, you know, use the one that you have to measure the water and you have to measure uh, the rice because, you know, convenience comes at a cost. And so if we can do some of those small steps at home with some of these products, it's going to save you money at the grocery store. All right. Now, Rachel, you talk about saving money. I know my wife and I, we are the coupon clippers. OK, yes. so what about using coupons? OK, because that seems like an easy way to spend less. It certainly can be. And I would just say my only word of caution with using coupons is that use coupons for items that you're already planning to purchase. Mm -hmm. So things that are on your list, things that you know you're going to buy. But if you just see a great coupon that's like, oh, that is such a good deal, but it's not on your list, like really reconsider that because if it's not something you love or not something you're going to use, then you're really not saving much money in the end. Okay. Yes. I, I, love, I love both those tips. I have a friend who, who works in marketing and he talks about how they just call those added value when they give you something that's already pre-cut or things like that. And you're paying more for it to your point about mm -hmm. convenience. Uh, speaking of convenience, kids are back in school, and that means we're packing a lot of school lunches. What are some ideas for saving money on those school lunches? Yeah, so instead of these very convenient little packages, which you can just throw in, grocery, in the lunch boxes, they're so nice, but they cost extra because the work is done for you. So in that case, go ahead and buy the bigger bag, the family pack or the larger containers of things that you know your kids love or that you love in your lunches, um, and pre-portion those yourselves. You're going to save even more money if you can use reusable containers. Um, and if you want to, you can go ahead and prep that. Go ahead and pre-portion those on a Sunday or Monday. So you can do the same grab and go during the week. And it won't be as quite as inconvenient. Gotcha. Gotcha. So so are there, are there ways we can change what we're eating to save money but still eat the foods we like? Right. So one of my favorites, and this is also really popular with kids, is um, incorporating meatless meals into your week. So if you incorporate just one meatless meal per week, you know, meat and seafood, that's the most expensive thing that you're gonna get at the grocery store. And it's gonna be more expensive if that is a big component of the meal. So if you can switch even just one per week, um, that is a huge saver. And one of the most popular ones at my house with my kids is breakfast for dinner. If you're mm. making waffles or pancakes or cheese eggs or even smoothies, um, that is gonna be a hit. and it, no one has to know that it's a budget conscious or a budget friendly uh, choice. Oh my God. I'm going to tell you something. Like anytime when I was young and I would smell pancakes and it's like oh, uh, 7 PM at night, I got super excited. So <laughs> breakfast for dinner is the best choice. Yes. It does. It feels like, Oh, what's it's exciting that we're doing this. Almost like a cheat meal as a kid and meatless Mondays or meatless meals in general. We know that there's some health benefits to that as well. So all good. Uh, how can viewers, kind of leverage meal planning services to save money? Are there any options there? What are the benefits? Right, so I think the benefit of meal planning services like emails, we're a meal planning app. Um, the great thing is that we provide inspiration and organization and that helps you create your plan. When you have a plan for the week, you have your grocery list, then you, you can save money. You can adjust your cart until um, you, know, you get to that dollar amount, particularly if you do online ordering. Um, for grocery pickup and delivery. And what emails is great about is that we give you 100 recipes each week across our you know, 15 meal styles. 
we create the shopping list for you and then it exports out to the shopping um, grocery pickup or grocery delivery. Um, and that's also a good thing too. Sometimes you're trying to save money because it um, limits those impulse purchases at the store. Uh, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, I'm about to say that's part of my problem. Now, Rachel, you are clearly the resource for all of these tips. So how can our viewers get more meal planning tips from you? You know, just follow emails on all our social media channels and check us out at emails.com. That would be great emails.com. You know what? I appreciate you because uh, I'm going to try not to get in so much trouble telling my wife that she's been doing it wrong. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate you stopping by. All right. Thank y'all. All right. Now, you know what? We clearly needed to uh, get information about how to save money, but who doesn't need more energy? Huh? Where's Cheryl? I need it. Cheryl. We know Cheryl. We know Cheryl. Yes. <laughs> we'll be right back. 